It's recording. Hey guys, Joshua Peterson, Peterson Electric. It is the third week of January, 2024. Uh, my birthday's this Sunday. Happy I'm birthday. Hitting, yeah, thank you. Hitting the big four nine. Uh, they're not kidding. You get closer to 50, it hurts. Um, anyways, thanks for joining us. Hit subscribe and like button, send it to your friends. We appreciate it. I don't make bank on this like Justin Bieber or anybody. But it, it does help us with a little bit of extra cash, very, very minimal. And I just throw it back to my SEO guy so he can advertise for me. So, But thanks again, guys, for joining us. This video for my SEO guy is why is it important for commercial or residential to actually know where my circuits go. In a commercial situation, a lot of people like to come in and say, oh, I need all these extra um, circuit outlets. Uh, a lot of guys go out and bid it just to run the wire. I prefer to take the other approach. Why not take the time to trace it, figure out what is where, and then maybe you don't have to pull so much wire and conduit, especially for the price of it. Nobody likes to pay for the discovery, kind of like hiring a lawyer and you got to find the discovery time. Nobody likes paying that for an electrician, but that's what we do if we're good at it. We trace out what's needed and what's not. But this video is going to be about why is it even important to know where it goes? Well, for this residential home, this house is not that large. It's about 2,300 square foot. But they have a ton of circuits through the years. It's 90, 1997 here in Loveland. And they didn't even really know where anything went. Over the years, guys have bunched and pushed around. Well, why is it important? For number one, what if radon burns out? And the radon fan's connected to the fridge circuit, and then you lose your food. Okay? What if the hot tub goes out? What if your AC goes out and locks up? What if you end up having a refrigerator downstairs? This place has got two laundry rooms, a kitchenette, and a full kitchen. So all of these circuits are really important on where they go, especially at night when I get calls on smoke detectors and they can't even figure out where that button is to turn off. Now, a lot of people call me up and say, well, the fuse. Fuses haven't been around since like 1920. Quit saying that. The only fuses you're going to see is in an air conditioning unit called an FRN fuse slow blow. When you call me up just to educate you so you sound a little bit smarter, quit saying fuse box. It's a breaker box and the breakers are I'm designed sorry. to kick off, but not in a fuse situation because these are resettable. So I'm just trying to help educate you so you don't sound so old. Um, the bottom dun, dun, line is dun. right here. All of these breakers need to be labeled. It's very important. It also helps you for future remodels. But again, if you get hit by lightning, that's important too. Now, the new 2020 code came out and said surge protection is now required in new homes and new construction or remodel for service on the panels. I put SPDs all the time in my basements when I do a new basement. Is it required? No. My inspector loves it, so do I. If you're doing an e-volt car, Article 625 does not say that e-volt cars have to have a surge on the home. I think it's important. I push it so heavy. I've been putting them in for about 16 years off of my van before it was even mandated. It's very important on the home to help with that low voltage spike. Does it help with the utilities has a nicked wire underground? It can buffer it but you still got to get it fixed. It can tell you that the neutral's low. It can tell your leg is going out. And that might help prevent than assuming to get on Google and go, oh, Google said that my lights are flickering because I have the wrong lamps. That's not true. Lamps can flicker all over the house because you're losing your subfeeder or feeder to the home. Anyways, guys, I hopefully that'll help you out. It does, it is important. This job with this kind of house took me two hours and there was three of us here. It does help out if there's not dogs barking and kids running and screaming and TVs going. So you do have to have power turned on and off for about an hour or two hours. But something with this nature of this many circuits, you do have to have that. You have to allow that time for us to do that. So if you're working from home, maybe you go to Starbucks or just figure out what day uh, is better Monday through Friday for us to trace that for you. All right, guys, thanks for joining us. Hopefully it'll help you out.